Hello everyone, this is Foyrex. Today I want to show you the first island that you can see in Arma 3. The island called Stratis. The island is based on a real Greek island, Aios F. Stratios, and sorry for the pronunciation of these Greek words, the real island is named after a monk Aios F. Stratios who disembarked on the island and died there, all in the 19th century. His name, Aios, remains saint and the surname comes from Greek word as Stratios, an older word for good soldier. The island is located in the Aegean Sea between Greece and Turkey. It's very close to the island Lemnos that you can also see in the game because Altis is based off of that island. And Adios Estratios also officially belongs to Lemnos Island, mostly because of its proximity as it's only 34 kilometers away. The island has been populated since the ancient times and even though its population never reached higher numbers than just a few hundred, there was always at least someone living there. Fortunately, Stratis is now mostly abandoned since the last war event in 20th century. During the war, it was used as a place of expulsion and isolation for thousands of people that had to live in tents. Only one settlement remains on the island and it has been rebuilt after a disaster in late 60s. A massive earthquake hit the entire area and completely destroyed the majority of buildings on the island. People living here are mostly fishermen, less traders and farmers. The island consists of many valleys and small hills, with the highest peak being only 298 meters above the sea, 236 in the game. The northeastern part of the island is quite forested. Many years ago, the valleys were used as a vineyard, but now only serve as a home to wild vegetation. It's quite hilly and greener than the rest of the island. The southern part of the island is more dry and empty and it offers nothing really interesting. Well, apart from this, a big monument to Nikos Sialmas, a Greek pilot that crashed here in 1992 after a fight with Turkish air forces. The letters are said to be built using only the aircraft rack and many different metallic parts that were laying around. The in-game monument is a little bit different and is called Spartan Monument, but it's still on the right place. As we know, Arma 3 is situated in the near future, more or less in the year 2035, so no historic events actually happen in the game but the consequences of the earthquake or the military presence can be seen easily around the whole island. There are numerous military bases and outposts, many ruins and newly constructed buildings. But let's talk about the villages first. There are two villages on Stratis. The bigger one is called Agia Marina and it's located in the northwest part of the island. The village is built around the coast and consists of 20 plus houses or so. It's moderately big and offers enough space for a fine infantry battle. There is a chapel with a small graveyard just outside the town and a military base some 400 meters to the east. And don't forget the gas station to the south, it's mostly abandoned and looks quite bad, but the station itself is still working, so you can fuel up your vehicles here. As I said before, most of the town was destroyed in 1968 by an earthquake and it had to be rebuilt completely by the inhabitants. That's why most of the buildings are built in the same style, colorful and nice looking. If you played older games of the Arma series, you know that the buildings were mostly locked and the player could only enter certain parts of certain buildings. That changed in Arma 3 completely and now every single house in the town can be entered freely. That means even more immersion than ever before and of course much more variety when it comes to fighting. The other village on Stratis is called Girna and it's located in the southwest part of the island. It's a small fishing village near the water and consists of 10 houses. The only connection with the rest of the island is one single dirt road. It's evident that the village is completely abandoned by now. The houses are in bad state and decaying, 
there's rubble and garbage around the houses and no indications of a dog or big structures. The most probable explanation of the poor state of the village is that after the earthquake, the population simply moved either to the bigger town Agia Marina or to another island. Either way, there is practically nothing in the village of Girna, the whole place looks pretty much desolated and the houses look mostly destroyed. Also, if you look at the village in the mission editor, almost half of the houses are called abandoned house, which is a clear indication of how the village is supposed to look. There are a few other structures on the island, several ruined houses, there also seems to be a tiny village in the southeast part of the island, consisting of only two houses and few little sheds, and there are several other structures scattered around the island, but nothing really interesting, I mean, there are a few transmitter towers, scattered houses, but nothing really major, the island is supposed to be pretty much abandoned, so there can't be any big structures in the wild. Let's move to military areas. In real life, there is no presence of any military forces on the island and any military buildings were removed long time ago. But in game, many outposts, watchtowers and bases stand all around the island and provide the map makers with strategic points of interest and already built bases that can be easily improved and then used. The biggest and most interesting is the Stratis Airbase. Although the location doesn't actually exist on real island, it blends nicely into the environment and makes the western coast even more important to capture and hold. The airport offers 15 hangars for aircrafts and equipment, most of which can be observed from the control tower at the very middle of the airport. The runway is long enough for practically any type of aircraft and its position at the very west of the entire island makes it a very easy location to land on. A radar at the south of the runway can detect dangerous enemy aircrafts, well, with enough scripts of course. Apart from the runway, there are many more buildings around that can be used to create a perfect base for quite a big force. There are enough military houses around to keep an entire army inside, also many sheds for vehicles and resources, then there's a water tank with a reserve of water for soldiers and of course several watchtowers to keep the entire area secure. There are also several tanks containing most probably a reserve of fuel for vehicles, aircrafts and ships. All these parts of a big base are divided either by walls or by fences, giving the airport a feel of security, even if it's somehow empty otherwise. Of course, it's up to a mission maker to fill the base with necessary equipment. The airport can be divided into several parts. The western part serves for aircraft only, hangars, runway and big military offices only. The northern part of the airport contains several big reservoirs of fuel, it's also the best place for loading and unloading ships as there seems to be a very small and simple shipyard. There's also a land entrance secured by another watchtower. The southern part holds several other buildings meant primarily for keeping supports. The eastern part of the airport is very interesting. Apart from common military houses, there is also a training course and a shooting range for soldier training and a basketball court that is meant to be used by soldiers in their spare time, but unfortunately cannot be used by any means in the actual game. The road from the airport to the town Agia Marina is the only non-dirt road, but unfortunately it's very short compared to the dirt road infrastructure on the island. It can be controlled easily using a watchtower on a hill right outside the airport, making the whole area really great to hold. There are several other military bases on Stratis, but they are quite small and there isn't much in them, so let's just blaze through these. There is one small base just outside the town, it doesn't have its own name, as it's just one building and a few sheds for vehicles. However, it's a great place for practicing with vehicles of all kinds. There is a small area where you can test your driving skills. 
The challenge can be added by placing additional road obstacles or competing for the best time on a designated track. To the east there is a Camp Rogaine. It's a small camp located on the top of a hill with few watchtowers and houses fortified by age barriers. It offers quite a good view on the surrounding hills, but it's very open and without additional fortifications it can be quite vulnerable to air raids or bombardment. In the northeastern part of Stratis there is one more military base which is called Camino Firing Range. This base is really just a bunch of buildings and a couple of shooting ranges so that soldiers can sleep at night and practice the shooting skills during the day. It's extremely close to the water and therefore weak against attacks from the sea, but at least there are some solid walls around the place that should make defending a little bit easier. There is a closed area just outside the base itself that looks like an entrance to a mine of sorts. If it actually is a mine or not and who works there, we'll never know because Arma 3 doesn't support practically any underground areas and the door is closed. Also don't forget the lighthouse. In the middle of the island there is an air station Mic 26. It's a place for the second rider on Stratis and a couple of other common military buildings. It also sits on a top of a hill and provides a very nice view on all sides and with several watchtowers providing control of practically all the surrounding area, it looks like a very nice base to hold. The only bad thing is that the whole base is secured only by a fence that is in poor state, thus the base can be entered from practically all sides. Camp Maxwell is located to the south of the last visited location, it's practically at the highest place of the island but doesn't provide the expected view. Very small in size and surrounded by trees, this camp blends with the forest so well that it may be a challenge to even find it. Its current state implies that it hasn't been used for quite a few years. There is a landing zone for a helicopter just outside and a few fortifications that provide only a minimal defense from enemy attacks. The last camp located to the west is called Camp Tempest. It's extremely close to the water and consists of only few basic military houses and a wall of age barriers that doesn't really provide much cover. The camp is surrounded by hills and is very vulnerable against all kinds of attacks. Honestly, it feels more like a temporary storage for equipment that came from the sea rather than a proper base. There is really nothing interesting about this camp, it's open, small, surrounded by hills that provide much more cover and the only thing while this camp could be valuable is its connection with the sea. There is one more lighthouse at the south of Stratis along with some crates and small objects. The waters around the island are supposed to be beautiful and full of fish. The island is a great place for diving as the underwater world offers much beauty. One last thing before you go, there is supposed to be a secret cave where pirates used to hide their treasures somewhere along the coast. So if you haven't already, you can go and search for the secret hidden cave, it's quite a nice place. Ok, that's gonna be it for this video, I hope you liked it, comment, like and share and have a nice day.